from being extremely dedicated to her job to the experience and trust she has gathered throughout her career. Andy Herrera was the perfect choice for Station 19's captain. That's why he's ready for captain. And I'm not. Don't take this the wrong way, but it is a skill to do what he does, a skill that you haven't figured out yet. First and foremost, we need to talk about her experience. It's pretty obvious that to get a job of authority, the person needs to be experienced at what they do. And throughout the show, it's obvious that the character has been a firefighter for quite some time. So it's evident that she has slowly risen through the ranks until she finally became a captain. And thanks to that, she now has a thorough understanding of the position and the abilities required to succeed in it. Andy is well versed in firefighting strategies, methods, and tools, and she doesn't hesitate in the slightest. After all, being able to work under pressure is one of the most important qualities a firefighter can have, and Andy sure as hell fits the criteria. The firefighter has proven many times throughout the show that she's qualified and capable enough to become captain. And honestly, what really got her this job is probably her ability to manage her team in a crisis. She makes choices quickly and seldom second guesses herself, not to mention she assigns jobs efficiently and communicates openly with her staff. Also, we can't forget the fact that not only does she have ample experience as a firefighter, but also a leader. And considering what the job of captain and Tales, that really is a big advantage for her. At the very least, we know she won't have any trouble leading her team both in crisis situations and during routine operations. Speaking of experience as a leader, that really doesn't mean much without the proper skill set. Fortunately though, Andy has all the important leadership skills. I mean seriously, she has all of them. Whatever you need to be a good leader, Andy has it. Confidence, decisiveness, communication, you name it. That girl never doubted her abilities once. And this was made obvious since the first episode. The second she realized that a victim was trapped in a burning building, she did not hesitate to go and try to save them. Her confidence leads to her decisiveness. Plus, she doesn't waste time and tends to think on her feet. Like the time she had to decide between fighting a fire and looking for a missing firefighter. Now guess what she did? Both. Of course, that's not an easy job, but that's where her communication and delegation skills come in handy. Andy split the team and effectively assigned the right jobs to them to make sure the mission ran smoothly. This ability of hers is shown time and time again. Another example of it is in the third season's fourth episode. Andy was in quite a tough situation and found herself needing to lead her team through a maze-like building during a search and rescue operation. She communicates clearly and effectively, making sure that everyone knows what they need to do and where they need to go. But her most effective leadership skill is that she doesn't expect someone else to do what she wouldn't do herself, leading by example as they call it. But the catch? There isn't much Andy isn't willing to do, considering the number of times she's run into burning buildings to save people. It really says a lot about her dedication to her job, doesn't it? In fact, this is yet another reason why she's the perfect fit for this job. Andy has always been willing to sacrifice her life and go above and beyond for the sake of her job. She takes responsibility for her own actions and for her team as well, not to mention when the time arises, she will take charge of every situation no matter how difficult it may be. And she will make sure that everyone who has the chance of getting out of there alive and safe does so. For example, in Season 2, Episode 12, she takes charge of a scene where a building has collapsed. She makes sure everyone is accounted for and works tirelessly to rescue those who are trapped. Andy has always had quite the habit of putting others before herself. And that's the perfect quality for a firefighter, considering the fact their job revolves around fighting fire for the sake of other people. Andy fully embraces the firefighter lifestyle and takes pride in her job. This can be seen perfectly in Season 4, Episode 4. That's when she works hard to earn the respect of a group of veteran firefighters. Soon enough, she manages to show them that she is just as dedicated and passionate about firefighting as they are. A 10-year-old male with a penetrating... Why is your hand inside? Because he was bleeding a lot. Take it out of him. You look 12. Can you find a grown-up to tell me that? Do not, not move go. your hand. See that? 
grown-ups. Now, moving on. Yet another reason Andy was a good choice for Captain is that she has demonstrated a high level of emotional intelligence. This is one of the most important qualities a leader can have. She has the advantage of being able to understand and manage her own emotions, while simultaneously supporting her team members and successfully dealing with any conflict. Her emotional intelligence was proven back in the first season when she was struggling to cope with her father's death. She didn't let her grief get in the way of leading her team and was also mature enough to ask for help when she needed it. Of course, she did not just address her own needs. She did the same for her team too. This was shown in episode 10 of the second season when Jack was struggling with PTSD. She supported him and was genuinely concerned for his well-being. Then again in season three, she's there for Travis when he's struggling with his husband's death. She gives him some much needed time off to greet. Another example of her providing emotional support to her team is shown in episode three of season four. During a training exercise, her team ends up having a number of disagreements. Everything ended well though, since Andy listened to all sides and came up with a solution that worked for everyone. Being able to resolve conflicts within a team is perhaps one of the most useful skills a captain can have. And that of course leads straight into the next reason, which is that Andy has earned her teammates trust and respect. I mean, of course she has. She leads by example, supports her team and makes tough decisions. Without a doubt, she is prime leadership material. And we've been able to see her put all these qualities into action quite a few times. In the pilot of the series, when she's supposed to lead her team into a fire, she was the first to go in. Another great thing about her is that she's there for her team members, not just on the job, but also off duty. In season three, she stood up for Vic when other firefighters were unfairly criticizing her. She's shown that she'll go out of her way to help her teammates. So why wouldn't they trust her? Not to mention she values their lives as well. For instance, in season two, she called off a rescue mission that was extremely unsafe for her team. It was a difficult decision since firefighters often risk their lives to save others. Nonetheless, it earned the trust of her team since it proved that she doesn't see their lives as disposable. And then there's the time in season four when she worked with her team to plan a surprise birthday party for Vic. Anyone would appreciate a boss who sees them as individuals outside of just their job. Now, objectively, Andy seems to be a great choice to be the leader. But what do the fans think of her? Well, they had some mixed reactions. She might have the qualities of a good leader, but it seems a lot of fans felt that she wasn't great at listening to her superior's orders, and many took issue with her being reckless with protocol. One fan complained that she felt entitled to become the captain in season three when Maya was offered the post, but another fan disagreed. According to him, Andy didn't feel entitled to the position. Rather, she had been promised the position by Sullivan. Well, at the end of the day, most fans who were dissatisfied with her becoming captain felt so because they disliked her character rather than her lack of leadership qualities. But what are your thoughts on all of this? Let us know in the comments below. Well, this is all for why Andy was the right choice for becoming Station 19's captain. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.